everyone, Shane R. Monroe here. I was recently asked a question about my Apple II emulation video and how do you change discs for multiplayer games? Well, this actually took a little bit of doing here and while there is a solution, um, not everyone's gonna like this solution because it actually requires a physical keyboard. So if we go into Apple II, I've got California games, disc one and disc two. These, of course, are running under the MAME emulator for Apple II emulation. Again, if you haven't uh, already watched this video uh, up in the upper right corner, do that before you watch this. It'll make a lot more sense. Okay, so here's our Apple II, and it boots to the uh, menu screen of California Games. <clears throat> and when you attempt to compete in an event, it will ask you to flip the disc over, meaning you need to insert disc two or the B side of the floppy. Now, in most situations, this is a surmountable task. Um, but in this case, you're probably gonna find this a bit unwieldy. So how we deal with this is you need a real keyboard. You cannot get away with the virtual keyboard. You may be able to get away with a Bluetooth keyboard. You may be able to get away with um, like core keyboard or something like that. But the keys that are used inside of the main emulator to ensure that computer-based emulation doesn't interfere with main controls is to lock out the main UI controls in favor of the actual games controls. Hopefully that makes sense. So how do we how do we do that, right? So I'm going to go ahead and say yes. I'm going to use a joystick. And upper left and center. Remember these were analog sticks for the Apple II. Okay, so I'm going to practice an event. And the one I happen to know is on disk B or the back side is half pipe. So when I choose half pipe and it goes to load, flip the disc over. So how the hell do you do it? <laughs> well, if you were just in MAME proper, you'd hit tab, right? Because tab brings up the MAME UI, but I can press this all day long and it doesn't work. So what you have to press, believe it or not, <laughs> is the scroll lock, scroll lock. Like <clears throat> anybody ever uses scroll lock, which of course is why it was picked for this particular purpose. Now, let's say you've got one of these little compact like Logitech G keyboards like me, you don't have a scroll lock. So what the hell are you supposed to do, right? If you hold down the function key and hit home, it simulates the scroll lock. Then it says, hey, your UI controls are enabled. Now guess what? Tab works exactly like it should in any other version of MAME. You can go down to the file manager and choose floppy disk one, and it all makes sense now. Select two, we'll say read write, because I don't know if it actually writes to it. Return to the previous menu, close the menu, and voila, we push the button and it loads. So that's how you switch it. Now, you notice that when we brought that menu up that it was possible to um, have two disk drives. Now, much like the Commodore 64, the Apple uh, II system typically only had one drive, so a lot of programs didn't really look for a second drive. So whether or not California games would have worked right if you were to have put um, one disc one in drive A or floppy one, and then disc two in floppy two, would that have worked? Possibly, and it probably depends on a game by game basis, but the ask by my loyal viewer was how to switch discs. So take the floppy out, put another one in or flip it over. And uh, that's what we got going on. And of course, there you go. And you can see that it actually loaded it up okay. Listen, if you like this kind of uh, video and you're enjoying this stuff, um, these sort of uh, videos don't do typically well. So if you, if you like it, you subscribe maybe while you're on this video or you share it with somebody else, it would really help the channel out a lot. I know you guys like these little niches, but you know, that's the problem with niches. It doesn't have a, a wide audience on YouTube. And if we want to direct more people to this sort of video, which of course encourage me, which of course encourages me to make more content of this type, um, please do so. I appreciate you. Thanks so much, everybody. I'm Shane Armonroe. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and we'll see you next time.